from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb. Grab your spouse, a friend, your mother, or your daughter, because we're all about to tell you how you might be able to change your life in just 15 minutes a day. Yeah, it's called Partnered Prayer, and it's a daily habit for Squire Weschnell and his wife, Louise Duard, who write all about it in their new book. It's called The 40-Day Prayer Challenge, Unlocking the Power of Partnered Prayer. And also with us, one of our favorite psychologists, Dale Atkins, who can tell us how prayer could be good for your health. So there's a spiritual and the health aspect to this. Hi, kids. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hi. We've been there. praying together for a long 16 time. Years, 16 right? years, right? Yeah. 16 years. And yeah. guess what? You only have to do five minutes. Five I know, minutes. but I wondered if there's something I else that Dale's going to uh, no, yeah. no. just. The prayer five is minutes. just five. That was unfortunate. <laughs> five minutes yeah. for 40 days, and okay. you'll have bliss. Yeah. Like so we people have. Were, are watching you right now, and they wonder, well, it's how do we, how do I do it? It sounds basic, but what yeah. do you guys do in yeah. the morning? How do you cross? You know, yeah. a lot of times people look at it like, oh my gosh, it's the Golden Gate Bridge I have to cross. When yeah. really it's just a footpath. And really, what you do is just you open your heart to each other and to God. It's frightening you, to many people, it is. though. It's, it it's is. a new world for them if they don't want to be that vulnerable, which right. we'll yeah. get into. Yeah. So what, what do you tell them? If well, somebody says, I can't, I don't pray, I'm not a religious person. Well, I know. It, you need to establish the step to, onto that Golden Gate Bridge, and you find out that it's just a footpath. And you need to establish a routine in your life. I bring my wife a cup of coffee and a bagel every morning, and isn't so it wonderful? So you drive her, basically. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> At 7 a.m., I bring her a coffee and a bagel, no matter where we are, and after we have the coffee and bagel, we pray together. So now do, in, do they pray, they've do been praying for me do. every single day for all these years. Okay, okay, so it's morning in your house. Yes. Yeah. You've okay. just brought the bagel yeah. and the coffee. Yeah. Here you sit. What yes. happens? Well, we eat the bagel yeah. and the yeah. coffee okay. first. Okay. First, yeah. first things yeah. first. But let's say, like, Squire has a son who has brain injuries, so we pray for him a lot, Grant, and my son and daughter-in-law looking for a house and they're up for a loan so it would be first we'd be thanking God thank yeah. you for our day for thank answer you for prayer, answer prayer. Yeah. and then God we lift up grant to you right now we just ask God yeah. that you give him peace mm -hmm. he's anxious today God just give him peace mm -hmm. and for my son Danny and Jesse God please we just ask that you give him favor with this mm -hmm. loan that they get this house oh, she's mm -hmm. getting into it already so I'm getting into it but you basically can feel anything it. that's going on in your life yes. Yes. well there's a wonderful scripture that says um, in the morning Lord you hear my voice in the morning I bring Bring my request before you, and I wait in expectation. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's trust. It is. Isn't that, it's just perfect. That is it. And you word. should expect it. Yes. That's what I because said. You ask <laughs> your because, it, and you expect. because if you don't expect it, guess what? You're, You're not going to get it. That's, that's right. That's part of what the prayer is. Well, let's yeah. bring Dale in, because yeah. this has, it has other implications as well, doesn't it, Dale? It has amazing implications, and I love the way you're demonstrating, number one, and I love the way you can relate to it, but I really want to talk about, there are other implications that have to do with our health and well-being. Yeah. And when when there is prayer and, and or meditation, there is brain activity that changes. First of all, the cortex of the brain thickens so that this is a preventive and really helps you to not get depressed. And there's a wonderful study that was done by Dr. Lisa Miller about really helping people to stave off depression. And and we are able to deal with stresses better. We are able mm -hmm. to understand that we have a strength and a power within us to be able to look at things that are very difficult. Our heart rate goes down. Our metabolism improves. It mm -hmm. goes down. Our blood pressure goes down. People who have uh, elective heart surgery recover better. There are lots of yeah, studies about the health stuff. benefits, right. but mostly people remain more calm and focused mm -hmm. and able to feel in control of their lives mm -hmm. in a way they didn't before. The great thing about it is you can be a part of this study. It's going to be alongside Baylor University. So this yeah. will be the first empirical uh, test, right? That's right. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes a day for 40 days. Okay. It is so easy. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just go to the Today Show a website and it'll we'll tell you all, all about it. Right. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thanks, Dale. Thank you. Good to see you, Dale. <laughs> yeah.